Good morning, it's just after 2.40 in the a.m. and I'm heading back out. I've had about an hour's sleep, I can't sleep anymore. There's men farting and burping and all sorts in there. So I'm getting off, getting on with it. Let's do this, going solo. Woo, along I go, embracing my inner nocturnal animal. Got 125 miles left to do today. Just thought, let's get up and get off. They weren't doing porridge yet it was too early. So I had another bowl of pasta this morning, went down the gully to treat. And I can see another rider just there. So they left about 10 minutes before me. So they're my little carrot and I'm chasing. Put my neck and going up a hill now. But yeah, I'm actually loving this so much. I was so nervous about riding the dark on my own, but it's actually all right. Something quite nice about it. But yeah, keeping on going. Feeling good so far, enjoying it. I'm at control point number 10. 448 kilometers into the ride, 279 can't speak, Maloney's. And the question is, at Hay on Y, what end establishment, establishment is on the left at Zebra Crossing? To be honest, I don't know what establishment means, and after I've cycled this many miles, I probably do know what it means, but I can't think, so. On the left is that, I wonder if it means that on the wall, that dog cat thing, whatever it is. But yeah, feeling good. On to control point number 11 I go. Next control point is Allen's Moor. There's a nice service station there, so I want to get some brekkie. Starting to get a little bit lighter now. There's the moon, sit out. It's a little bit of a misty morning, but it's all right. I know when that sun comes up, it's gonna be a real mood boosty. Oh yeah, I'm at the top of the climb as well, thanks for that Garmin. 297 miles in, control point number 11, Allen's Moor Shell Services, and I picked up a porridge. Now, I don't actually like strawberry flavoured porridge, but it'll have to do because it's the only one they had. I also picked up, I thought, blooming heck, we've got loads to go, so I might as well. Cereal bar. Third flapjack of the trip. And, why not, some chocolate tiffin. Just get as much as I can. There's another fella here, he's gone in there. Feeling good, got a little stamp on the brevet. 80 Maloney's left to go. One minute, so it's really, really misty, I'm freezing. I've got like water dripping off my face. Oh, this part isn't fun. But I keep saying to myself, come on Amy, you can do this. You've got like 77 miles to do. Keep on going. So I'm keeping on going. I can do this. Ugh, I'm just so cold. Ugh. But I'll get warm soon. Hopefully the sun will come out later. Girl, look a right mess. Sun's coming up and some sheep enjoying their morning. Ah, oh, come on sun, burn that mist away, please. I'm at the top of climb number 37 of 41. Just had to stop to delay, loving how my uh, arm warmers are matching my jersey, it's really great. Have got a new jersey on from yesterday because I thought let's feel a bit fresh. Managed to snap the blooming thing that goes on the side off my glasses. I've got no glasses now, so it's absolutely perfect, but I'm getting on with it. Let's keep on going. Oh, I've just had to stop and put my jacket back on. The mist is not clearing, it's blooming freezing. I'm heading towards Tintoon now. I know it's beautiful there because I went through there on Land's End John O'Groats, but I don't think I'm going to get any views this morning. It's too blue and misty. Ugh. I'm keeping on going. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm just rolling through Tintern. It's a lovely little place. There's the river. Oh, just trying to keep my eyes open. They keep wanting to shut. So I think what I'm going to do is just stop every 10, 15 miles for five minutes. Get some snacks in. Just keep going steadily to the end. Ay ay ay. The eyes want to close. I'm not doing very well with sleep deprivation, let me tell you. But let me tell you one thing. I'll be sleeping very much tonight. And I've got the day off work tomorrow, thank the Lord. But yeah, it's very pretty around here. The mist is clearing, finally. Might be able to deal air again in a bit. That's a pretty Abbey. Hello, Abbey. Right, I might stop by this Abbey and have a quick banana. I need it, I think need to find somewhere so weird as well and blooming desperate. Oh, so I found some toilets but they're blooming locked. I'm absolutely desperate for a way. I'm going to find somewhere. I've got a big climb coming up now but I've only got 52 miles to go. So I'm going to keep on going and get to the top of the climb and find somewhere but blooming heck, it's torture that is. Desperate. Climbing up out of Tintern. 
climb number 39 of 41. That feels good to say, but it's not ideal when you're desperate for the toilet, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to stop. There's someone behind me now as well, but oh, I'm so desperate for a wee. The loins are feeling it, but we keep on going. The end is in sight. Let's do this. Hiya. Over the bridge we go. This bridge goes over that, I think it's the Y River, is it? Blimey, I'm still desperate, desperate, desperate for the toilet. I went to a spa and they wouldn't let me use their toilet, so I'm not very happy about that. But we're getting the miles in here and we'll keep on going. Over the bridge we go, over the seven. This bridge goes on a blooming while, let me tell you. I'll the toilet soon. We've got 40 miles to go, but I'm in a lot of pain. Literally, my fru, aka the bib short area, is so painful. That literally, I'm not even joking, every bloody pedal hurts. Ever since I've been for a wee, I'm trying not to focus on it, but I'm trying to be positive. We've only got 40 miles, but it freaking hurts. Eh, my own pissing fault. Never use a saddle you've not used before in a 600 bloody K. Absolute idiot, Amy. Oh, it's gonna be sore when I get home. But keeping on going. Let's try and forget about it. Let's be positive. First ever 600, it's going okay. Keep on going. We're at the final control point. We've done 351.8 Maloney's. We've got 24 miles to go. Just went in and got a little stamp on my brevet. I don't even see it anymore. We're at Shepherd's somewhere. I don't even know, I can't even think of one hour of sleep in 24 hours. But we're on the final bit now. We're at some pub or something, some, I don't know, Shepherd's Patch. Come on, me that, get me home. But my fruit is killing. There's another cyclist here, so talking to him just kind of distracts me from the pain, but... Come on, me that. But overall, I am, I am actually enjoying it. And other than that, I'm feeling good now. My eyes are keeping awake, but yeah. A really little tassel going on. I'm not very happy about breaking my glasses, but flies keep splattering in my eyes and everything. But we're going on, we're getting on with it. Well, oh, blooming neck, this isn't handy on the old painful down below area. Bumpy, bumpy, at least I'm on a gravel bike, but get me back on the road. We're back on smooth road, and it's like heaven for the cod loins. I did not like that. Get me back on the road, and we got back on it. So give me a road with potholes on over that any day. Long we go, oh yeah. Nice and flat to finish as well. Just what we need. It's beautiful. 10.5 Melo needs to go. We're outside Gloucester Cathedral. Just thought I'd stop because it's nice. There you go for anyone who wants to see it. I mean, at this point in my life, anything amazes me because I'm knickknacked. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Been here before actually, I think, but yeah. Whew. 10.5 miles and it's 10 past 11, so hopefully we're back for 12. Yeah, feeling good. Really loving my outfit right now. It's really, you know, colour coordinated and my gloves match too, so that's a joke. I look like an idiot. But ah well, just keep on going. I'm done and I'm going to get my brevet stamps. This saddle needs to in the new skip and never want to see it again. So, I'm now officially a super underneath. I've got my brevet completely stamped. And yes, I'm going right. to PVP because I know my qualifiers. Hallelujah. Chester, he's here to greet me at the end. Good boy. Have you had a good day with daddy yesterday? Hello. Kyle, did you bring my country up? Uh, uh, just I'm trying to get Is it in your bag? Yeah. It, oh, yes, I've that. been craving it all day. So that's my ride. Ding, dang, dilio. Put the window up. We're on the way home now. And I absolutely love that ride, honestly, it was so fun. The worst part of it was this morning in the mist, cold, I just felt so horrible. And the issues with the pain down below. But other than that, I absolutely loved it. And yeah, I'm a bit knick-knack, so I'm not talking very well, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. TTFN, before I go, one thing I have learned from today, or two things. One, don't worry, because I spent all week worrying and there was no punctures, no mechanicals, so jobs are good in. Second thing, do not ever use a saddle that you've never used before because it ruins you. But yeah, I'll leave you with that. I'm going to finish the ride the best way I know how with a nice crunchy apple. Bye!